Welcome to Women of Elegance. My name is Teresa, and I started this channel because I myself desire to become a more elegant lady. I started my journey on studying how to become a more elegant woman about a year ago. So on this channel, I will be sharing weekly tips on how to become a more elegant woman. Before we dive into the first video, I wanted to talk about what elegance isn't. Most of us are not born being elegant, but we can achieve it with a little bit of work, a little bit of effort, and a whole lot of knowledge. And that is why I am here to be able to share what I've learned with all of you. Let's start by defining what elegance isn't. Elegance does not mean you have to have the most expensive designer handbag, watch, clothing, purses, or even the most luxury car. Elegance goes far beyond all of that. Elegant women are constantly working on themselves. Not only do they respect themselves, but they respect others. And so they work on themselves so that they can be better and a more presentable and attractive person for those around them. So if this is something you are interested in, then subscribe to the channel because I will be posting new elegance tips every single week. So make sure you subscribe and also turn on the notification bell because every time I post a new video, you will get notified every time a new elegance tip goes live. Let's dive into what it means to be an elegant lady. Elegant women are discreet with their personal lives and they carry themselves well. And carrying yourself does, does not just mean how you dress, although that is a big part of it, but how you carry yourself is also comprised of your posture. Do you sit up straight or do you lean over when you're sitting at the table? So elegance is also comprised of posture. Elegance, it's also being graceful and dignified in how you move across a room. Are you loud? Do you stomp on the floor when you walk? Being well-groomed and also smelling good is a part of becoming an elegant lady. Being kind and generous, non-judgmental. Elegant women are confident in who they are, so they are not jealous of other women, but they are instead happy for other women. They are joyful to be around them. So jealousy is not a component of an elegant lady. And the reason why this all matters is because it is a clear definer of how classy you are. How much class do you really have? So we want to learn together how to become a more elegant woman. Be sure to watch the video to the very end because I'm going to be showing you some of the items that I picked up from a Spanish company called Mango. I've got a little bit of a mango haul at the end of this video, so be sure to watch until the very end. And remember, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I will be showing you guys how I put the outfits together on a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Let's dive into my elegance tips. Tip number one in being an elegant lady is speech. How do you speak to others? Because no matter what you are wearing or what you are driving, if you are speaking to others in a loud tone or an unkind manner, or even using profanity, this is not elegant. And when you speak in an angry tone, a loud tone, you are not only molding an image of yourself for the person in front of you, but you are letting people know that not only are you a person that they will most likely not have any respect for, but you do not respect yourself. So speech is the first component of becoming an elegant lady. How do you speak to others? Are you using words that are not classy? 
Are you getting upset with people around the table? Do you know how to respond to angry people? So let's talk about some ways that your speech can not only downgrade your ability to become an elegant lady, but also it's going to tell people that you are not a respectful person. If you are in front of a group of people, or even if it is just four of you or six of you, and you want to speak to someone that is on the other side of the table, it is not proper to yell to that person that's on the other side of the table. Instead, you can excuse yourself and go around to the other person and sort of whisper to them. And then maybe they can excuse themselves and you two can have a private conversation. But yelling across the table is a definite sign of a person who is not elegant. Number two, arguing with someone that is sitting next to you or that is across the table from you. We all have disagreements, but bringing up a disagreement in front of others that you have with someone else is a clear sign that you are not a classy lady, you are not an elegant lady, and you don't have any respect for the other people around you. If you have a disagreement with someone, it's okay to just not say anything and then maybe address that person separately in a private conversation. But having an argument with someone at the dinner table in front of others shows that you are not an elegant lady. Number three, being rude to your server or your waiter or waitress. If your meal comes out incorrect, it is not elegant for you to yell at the waiter or the wait staff. Remember, they are not the actual ones preparing your meals. They are just delivering those meals to the table. So be respectful to the wait staff when they are delivering your meals. Be a little bit discreet when you are talking to your waiter or waitress and don't embarrass them. Number four, interrupting people while they are talking and talking over them. So if you are sitting at the table with a group of people and someone is speaking or talking to the people that are around the table, it doesn't really matter if something comes up in your head that you want to share. Wait until that person is done speaking. So talking over someone, interrupting them, these are all signs that not only you are not a classy lady, but you are definitely not elegant. So the way we want to do that is when the person is done speaking, then you would raise your question to the speaker or whoever you want to get the information across to, but never, ever, ever interrupt or talk over another person while they are speaking. Tip number five. Tip number five is swearing. Now, profanity I have never been a fan of. I have heard some women, and I think we've all been in a restaurant, and you just hear that one person across the room somewhere, and they are using profanity, they are talking loud, and they are just the loudest person in the room. So profanity is not only disgraceful, but it just shows that you don't respect yourself, you don't respect those around you, the people at the next table, the people in the entire restaurant. Using profanity is a clear sign of low class and it is not elegant. So we can get our point across to people by using proper English, by using proper sentences. Profanity does not indicate that you are getting your point across. It actually devalues you and devalues whatever you are saying because most people that use profanity, I don't even respect anything that they are saying after I hear the, the profanity come out of their mouth. So make sure that you are not using profanity. There are many ways to get your point across. There are many ways to share your thoughts and ideas. 
without using profanity. So this is not a trait of being an elegant lady. So we want to get rid of any profanity today. Tip number six, using slang words. And I don't need to define this one, you guys, because we all have used slang words and we know what they are. But some people may not understand that slang word that you are using and it might become an offensive word or it may sound offensive when you say it. So using slang words is not a trait of an elegant woman. Just say what you need to say and say it with grace, say it with humility. And most people will appreciate that, but you don't need to use slang words to get your point across. An example of a slang word is like using my bestie or my homie. An elegant lady would just say my best friend. Using slang words is also not a trait of an elegant lady. Tip number seven, talking about inappropriate topics while you are at the dinner table or while you are around others. And sometimes even while you are around people that you know, talking about inappropriate topics is not a trait of an elegant woman. An example of an inappropriate topic is talking about an argument that you just had with your spouse the night before. And the people that are in the room with you are not only losing respect for you because you are sharing something that is very, very private, but they are most likely not going to trust you with any of their information as well. So talking about inappropriate topics while you are at the dinner table, while you are in a group of people, talking about your finances is also inappropriate when you are around others. So we want to avoid talking about inappropriate topics if we want to become elegant ladies. So these are all traits that we have to obtain. And like I said in the beginning of the video, we are not born being elegant and graceful, but it is something that we can obtain. I want to share with you some things that I bought from Mango. Mango is a Spanish company and I absolutely love their clothing and their products. They are very well made and I just love Mango. So I will be doing some future hauls from some of the pieces that I purchased from Mango. So now I wanna show you what I picked up from Mango. And I am a big proponent of having money in the bank. So nothing that you are going to learn from me is going to break your bank. But instead, I am more about using the items you have and also adding a few key pieces to your wardrobe to help you have a more balanced wardrobe so that you can not only become an elegant lady, but you also want to look elegant as well. So the first thing that I bought from Mango is this handbag. And I absolutely love this handbag. I saw it online. And so let me show you what this is looking like. I was super excited when I received this package, but this is leather and suede. And let me see if I can, I have not even used this or taken off the wrapping. So let's see if we can show you what this is looking like. Isn't this just gorgeous, you guys? Look at this beauty. This is, it's suede and the side is leather. And I love how this looks. It's got this little tassel here, right uh, where the zipper is. And then it's wide. So you can get quite a bit in this bag. So let's take, So the bag is really, really wide, as you can see from the interior, and I just love it. So this is one of the things that I ordered from Mango, and I'm excited. You can just wear it on your shoulder like this. So I'm excited to just wear this bag 
I love this. I absolutely love this bag right here. It is so beautiful. So that's the first thing I got from Mango. The next thing, the next thing I ordered from Mango is a pair of sunglasses. And I bought these specifically to wear with an outfit that I'm going to be showing you. And I'll just show you what they look like on. And I think they just help an outfit. The accessories help your outfit look more elegant. So this is the pair of sunglasses I bought from Mango. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. So having a great pair of sunnies can also elevate your outfit and help you to look more elegant. So these were absolutely beautiful. You can kind of look at the, you can see the, um, the style of these right here. I love how kind of transparent they are. So just absolutely beautiful. Love these. And the next, ex the next accessory I ordered from Mango is a belt. I did not have a good belt in my wardrobe and that is why I ordered this. So again, you guys, this is not about over consuming. These are things that I did not have. I actually donated a ton of my clothing last year. And so I needed to replace some new pieces in my wardrobe. So this is the belt that I ordered from Mango. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I style this. So be sure to stay tuned for how I style this belt. That was the next accessory. Then I ordered this beautiful scarf and I'm going to be styling this scarf as well, but I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I love the material on this. I love that. So it's pretty long and I'm going to be styling it around my neck, of course. So I got that from Mango. And on the, on the clothing piece, I got this shirt, which I am currently wearing. So let me show you guys what this is looking like. This is the shirt I ordered from Mango. The sleeves are absolutely stunning. It is, I believe, sort of a linen, and I just love the sleeves. I love the neck on this shirt, and it's got these little pleated details, but the sleeves are kind of, um, you know, they're, they're very comfortable. The sleeves are just so gorgeous. I just love this detail right here on the sleeves. Today, I paired this shirt with just a pair of high-waisted blue jeans, but you can wear this shirt with pretty much anything, but it is so lovely. Just look at the detail. So beautiful and elegant. So love this. Also the buttons, it, it, it buttons all the way up to the neck. So I really, really love this. And you can see the neckline on this so stunning, so elegant, so beautiful. And again, you can style it with anything you choose. I just put on some blue jeans today. So the next thing I ordered from Mango is a pair of navy blue slacks. And what I loved about these pants was they have this little slit that's on the side that looks really good with some ankle boots. And it's just lovely, they're just lovely. I love the material, so I'm going to be styling these. So be sure to stay tuned. They have pockets in the back and also pockets in the front. So the next thing I ordered from Mango are these cream colored pants and I love them. I did not have a pair of pants like this in my wardrobe and I thought that they would look lovely with matching them sort of with this bag or uh, with this bag and a black shirt. And um, so I thought this would kind of look good as a combination uh, in my wardrobe, but the pants look very elegant and I can either style this with like a black uh, jumper, um, a turtleneck or 
even a white sweater. So I absolutely love these. And so look forward to how I'm going to be styling and putting these outfits together. The next item I got is this beautiful white turtleneck. So I did not have a white turtleneck that I could wear. The material on this is really nice too. And I love the detail on this particular sweater right here. This I am planning on styling with these pants. And then I'm thinking of putting this scarf around my neck and kind of styling this piece. And you can kind of see the color combination that how this is going to look. But once I put everything together, of course, I will be showing it to you guys. Also paired with these sunglasses. Oh my goodness, how elegant and how beautiful this is going to look. So that was the next thing that I got. And then, actually this is a sweater I got from Mango. I do have some more things coming that I have to unbox and I will unbox them with you guys once they arrive. But I got this sweater. This sweater is sort of, um, I don't know what you call the neck of this sweater, but I, it's, I love this. This is so amazingly soft and beautiful. The quality of the material on this is just stunning. And I love the little detail on the back of how it comes down on the neckline and then on the sleeve area. So such a beautiful, beautiful sweater. Um, I didn't have really anything that's in this color and I don't do well with wool sweaters. They're very itchy to me um, and they sort of irritate my skin. But I believe this one is sort of like a polyester. Let me see. I think this is made of polyester. So it's very soft, very beautiful, and also elegant. My necklace is from Miss Soma. It is a UK jewelry company. So this is where I got that. My rings are from Monica Venator. And also my bracelet is from Monica Venator. My next video will be a style video. I will show you these pieces, how I am putting them together to help elevate them and help the outfits look more elegant. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified every time one of my elegance videos go live. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.